When I was quite young, I was, I believe, 12 at the time, my grandfather got really sick and he had an infection of his spinal cord and required neurosurgical assistance. And I remember thinking at the time that my grandfather, who was my, uh, my hero, wasn't getting well as quick as I had hoped that he would. And I remember thinking that if I was the neurosurgeon that I would fix him a lot quicker. Once I got to medical school, I, I shadowed and rotated with neurosurgeons and sat in with them on clinics long before our clinical years. And so I, I've, I've always wanted to go into neurosurgery from day one. I did training in open neurosurgery of the brain and spine. And then following that, I did additional training in endovascular neurosurgery, where we go in through artery in the leg and, and treat things within the blood vessels instead of outside of them. As someone who can treat aneurysms or stroke or, or narrowings in, of the arteries in the neck, multiple ways. I think that gives me the ability to individualize a treatment to the patient quite well. I had a patient literally last Sunday who came in with a stroke. She was unable to move one whole side of her body and unable to talk and we got a clot out in 12 minutes from starting the procedure and before she was off the table she was moving everything and talking and I we wheeled her out of the room and her family came up and had never met me and gave me a giant hug and I think that's something that is extremely gratifying. You have a profound impact on people's lives over a very short period of time.